Hi everybody, it's Brandon, and I'm inviting you to join me and my beautiful family as we travel locally and afar on this wonderful channel we like to call Life on Video. Thanks for watching. Dogs are dropped off. I'm leaving right now. <clears throat> we take them to a place here in Tucson. It's called At Home Kennels. And honestly, we've been bringing our dogs here for years now. And they're great, man. The prices are super reasonable. And <clears throat> I mean, our dogs come out, they get groomed here because they, they have professional groomers here also. The prices are just reasonable. And that's, that's ultimately what we're looking for when we have massive dogs like we do it's like you gotta find a place that that's got good prices because if you don't <clears throat> you're gonna pay an arm and a leg to be honest getting my dogs to the kennel on the day of vacation or day before vacation it's one of the most stressful things i have to do for those of you that don't know my dog Jax <clears throat> is really a guard dog I mean, he's not professionally trained or anything. He's just, he doesn't leave the house. Like we, we have a huge backyard. We play with him back there. He's got Apollo to play with. So when I bring Jax out, like I have to keep him on a tight leash and be careful because he's a little animal aggressive. So when he sees other animals, you know, he, he kind of gets a little antsy about it. So I'm well aware of that. I um, mean, I'm completely fine with that. Uh, now what I have to do is go home get a shower, get changed, go to work, <clears throat> finish up this boring day at work, and then I'll be home. I gotta knock out a little bit more homework, and then catch some hours of sleep, and then we out of here. I got what, 1348, so 150. I got like four hours when I get back and I'm boy, whoop, checked out. We won't make it, let's get it. <laughs> and I'm clocked out. Work's done, vacay has officially started. I couldn't be more pumped. I'm going home to see my kids right now. And my wife will finish packing, we'll load up. Now, I like to say, for sure, but don't quote me on this. I'm shooting for a 3 a.m. launch this morning, this coming morning. Um, I want to be out of the house on the road at 3 a.m. because we're driving to LA. But I feel good, man. I'm on vacay. Let's get it, baby. Let's go. All right, let's bounce out. What's tomorrow, B? Disneyland. Are you excited? How excited? So, we're only uh, about two hours into the drive. Uh, we just stopped to get some McDonald's, maybe about 15 minutes ago, and then Grayson had to go potty, so we're stopping at And it's not a big deal. We're, uh, we're looking at, like, what's happening? So let me see. It is 7.40. Still got <laughs> roughly six hours and some change left <clears throat> but we're grinding man we're having a good time are you having fun so far yeah yeah kiwi are you having fun Having a good trip so far? What do you got? Gummy! 
So, like I said before, Rhino's stomach's not really cooperating with his medicine. So we had to make a quick stop. We're going to stop, buddy. Because your brother had to go to the bathroom again. Sleepy? No. So we're about... GPS is 53 minutes away from the hotel. You can hold it. So we just stopped. It's what you do when you travel with kids. They've actually been really, really good. Um, hey B, is your sister asleep? No. No? She's doing very good back there, isn't she? She sure is. You ready to get there? Yep. We're really close. Almost there. Yo, so we finally made it. it took a solid eight hours to get here, but we made it. Uh, my wife's upstairs unpacking. I'm grabbing the rest of the stuff out of the car and then I'm gonna head up and finish helping. Uh, excited to be here. The boys, Braylon, man, they're just cool. So let's get started. But yeah, and I wanted to give a big shout out to Hilton. I had requested a couple of days ago to get early check-in. They said I could request it for a $25 fee. And then this morning when we were leaving, I found out I was denied that request, which is fine. It's a request, I wasn't fully expecting it, but it would have been nice. Um, so I showed up, I still went and asked, and the lady was nice enough, she found me early check-in. I didn't even push for it, I just said, hey, I just wanted to see if you had early check-in. She checked and she had it. And that was it, and now we're checking in about an hour early. So, couldn't ask for better customer service right off the bat. Good job, Hilton. So here we are at the Doubletree Suites by Hilton Hotel Anaheim Resort slash convention center. This is roughly about a solid mile walk from the parks. Seems like a lot, but it really was nice to be within walking distance of the park this time. This was a beautiful accommodation. I found recently that when we stay at the Doubletree Suites, we get a lot more usage out of the room than when we stay at some of the other hotels just because there's more space for the entire family. So here we'll go upstairs and we were on the second floor this one and the pool was there, the fitness room was there, so Hilton really hooked us up on this trip by getting my family on the right floor. at the door? Hey. So this was the entrance to the pool. It was basically in the low 80s, mid 70s for the most of the time we were there. So we didn't really get into the pool, but we checked it out. I actually, on another video I'll show you, I did some homework out here on this pool deck because it was really nice being up on the second floor. But we still came out, looked, the boys still had hopes and dreams of hopping in, but way too cold for us to get in. I mean, we're from Arizona, come on now, we swim in 100 degree weather. So, after that quick visit to the pool, we decided to head down to Disney. What you just saw was Disney California Adventure, or I may refer to it as DCA. And then literally walking distance is Disneyland. They're uh, for those of you that know Disney World, it's like Magic Kingdom. It's beautiful. Everything's decorated for Halloween. This is one of the main reasons we came out at this time of the year. So, we then head down this direction, and this direction takes you into what they call Downtown Disney. East Coasters, you know, Disney World has Disney Springs. That's a drive away. Everything at Disneyland is basically walking distance, which is pretty awesome. So here we are, just still continuing down the path, and then we come into one of the more iconic items from Downtown Disney, and the boys love it, so we stopped over by it so they could check it out. You can't get up there, B. And it's this water fountain. It's shaped like a flower, but in the center of it, it sprouts up 
some water. And here it is. Kids everywhere get a big kick out of this water fountain. I mean, even baby Braylon was loving it. All the festive decorations were all around. There were pumpkins everywhere, fall flowers, and then here we have the world of Disney. This is a massive, massive shop full of just tons of Disney merch. It's awesome. We spent a lot of time in there looking and buying, I would say, but more looking than buying. <laughs> And then here's some more of the fall decorations. You can see pumpkins, fall flowers, the nice waterfalls in the background. Disney just does it right every single time. It's the same one we just saw. Hey, not too, hey, gotta stay back. So here we have a restaurant called Black Tap. I'm highly disappointed that I did not get to eat here, but as many of you know, I was on a diet due to an Air Force PT test coming up, but they have the craziest milkshakes ever. If you get a chance, look them up. They're just gnarly. <laughs> Another common thing for downtown Disney is to catch live performances such as this one. Again, Halloween themed, just an awesome setup right in the middle of downtown Disney. Here you can see there's restaurants everywhere and then right back there in the back you see those blue windows. That's actually the Disneyland Hotel. It's that close. Right there you can see it again. This is the Earl of Sandwiches, one of the famous sandwich shops here in downtown Disney. Really, really good food. Here I got the Hawaiian barbecue sandwich. It had pineapple ham, barbecue chicken, you name it. We also stopped to get some food at this food truck that was in downtown Disney as well called the Empanada Maker. They had some really cool creations on this truck and we just managed to get some basic chicken and beef with seasoned fries and as you can see here they look delicious and they absolutely were delicious. Is it good? Is it good Rhino? Rhino! Rhino! Is it good? Finding something the kids like to eat is a challenge in itself, but these guys really scored with these empanadas. Here at Downtown Disney also you can watch them make some of these Disney treats and it is just awesome to see the effort they're putting in to make them. Here we are just headed back down the same walkway but headed the opposite direction now towards Disney. And then this is where we make our first stop into the world of Disney to check out some of the merchandise. And man, when I say they have it all, they have it all. Tons of stuff from backpacks to shoes to mini ears to plates, salt and pepper shakers, hats, anything you can think of Disney-wise, it's here. Definitely a must stop at place when you come to Disneyland because it's just fun and you can find everything you're looking for basically in this one shop. And I found these jackets. They're kind of new to the parks, but they're really awesome. They're kind of like rain windbreakers, but they're themed after different lands, different rides. I just thought they were really awesome. Wanted to show you guys, check them out. And of course, always in vacation mode. There's baby Kiwi with her first set of ears. And these boys didn't make it through this night at all. And we didn't even go to the parks today. It was just a long day of traveling. They ate full bellies. Full boys will always pass out on you. 
That's a fact. You're the only one that's still awake? You made it. So we're still headed down the path. Uh, downtown Disney's not huge, but in all aspects, it is a pretty decent amount of walking distance from the park. Again, we arrive at the fountain. It's just a cool little iconic staple for Disneyland to always see this fountain. So this is a close-up shot of all the pumpkin head Disney characters over top of the entrance of Disneyland. These are absolutely amazing when you see them up close and there are actually videos out there that you can watch the Disney Imagineers make these pumpkin head figures. And honestly it's theming like this that makes spending the money so much more worth it because you feel like you're getting the total experience. And that concludes day one. So stay tuned for day two. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn the bell notifications on so you know when we update that second video.